In a world of cancel culture, how can we teach snowflakes to whoever to snore? Here is one idea. And that one idea is basically the fact that this this person, that beacon teacher, is absolutely early and early racist. Why? Well, about 23 hours ago, she uploaded, Are You Racist? And uh, what you're about to see clearly should be against YouTube's policies. And, uh, she deserves to get her channel terminated for it. So, I'm gonna play this now, so you can get the whole picture. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful smile. Beautiful curly hair. Beautiful skin. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? Um... If you're trying to say that white people are shouldn't ban the N word with the hard R, which means then that means that you you that we can be teacher are allowed to say the N word, and I agree that we shouldn't ban every word. But some words that have at least over 400 years of history, such as N-I-G-G-E-R, deserves to be, well, not banned, but like, just so that a white person can stop using it. And if you're trying to get at the fact that you're that you're like one percent black, which I don't think you are, then it's not working for you. Can you think of some words right now that are banned? What are they? N I G G E R. What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? And how did we get this way? The as word society? that you're writing right now. Is banning words a good idea? The N-word is... When does it end? If we say we can't say the N-word... Lift the hard R, yeah. But then, people ban even saying the N-word. Then the N-word becomes the X-N-word. The N-word that used to be the other N-word. And it... What the hell are you trying to get at here? I mean, the N-word with the soft A is still going to be used in songs for years to come. I have no problem with that. It's just the historical N-word and hard R that I have a huge history with. And clearly, in just a few moments, you're going to show that N-word because you are a well-known racist and I am this close to figuring this out already. If you think you have the N-word pass, think again. It never ends. It just goes on and on and on. What about other words? The F-word. The C-word. The R-word. The S-word. If you're talking about faggot. The C word is cunt. 
right? And the S word is shit, I think you're saying. Which you claim is the S word that we can't say. Uh, those words are completely fine and not harmless at all to anyone. It may be harmless to only a few selective people, but not to everybody. So, whatever you're trying to get out of here, it's not working so far already. And we're almost at the end of this video. When does it end when we start banning language? The N-word is with the hard R is, is a long time hard word, harmful language. We're not necessarily ending it in our vocabulary since it's going to be used for years to come anyway. But we're just, we're just trying to make sure that a white person like you stops using the n-word. If you think it's okay to actually say the full hard R, why don't you say it on camera then? Huh? Exactly, you can't. Because you wrote it in a notebook that we will be seeing very shortly. Okay. Is it a good idea, really? Or is it better to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. It's better to not say them. Does this girl seem... Here we go. ...to you like she might be naturally intelligent? Gorgeous, generous, <laughs> exemplary, and radiant. She looks like she could be that to me. You're a sick woman. You're very sick. You're a sick woman. You need help. You seriously need help right now. I want you to stop making YouTube videos and seriously get help because now you just proved that you, that vegan teacher, are racist. You just answered your own question here. In the video you titled, Are You Racist? You just answered your own question. And the fact that you answered your own question is completely not a surprise to me at all because you made some racist videos in the past and you still have them up on YouTube. Remember the song that you created since uh what June or July? That one is entirely racist and you used George Floyd's words I can't breathe in that song. That makes you, that vegan teacher, or Miss Katie, a well established racist teacher who would, would do anything in her power to think it's okay to reuse the word that's been harmful to the black community for years. How shameful are you? <sighs> okay, gonna be taking a look at these comments and then I'm done because that vegan teacher, uh, she, I just can't deal with her anymore and I hope YouTube does something with one of her YouTube channel. Because at the end of the day, I don't think she deserves it. Anyway. She's thirsty for attention, but she doesn't realize she is actually ruining the reputation of a lot of vegans.
Yes, exactly. I mean, if you want to be a a vegan, that is fine. But don't be one of those crazy people who wants to be for vegans and does the opposite of what you're not supposed to do, which is which is being a racist or at least force people what they can and cannot eat. Hurting animals is wrong. Her carnivorous dog, who's being forced to be vegan, exactly. I don't think that dog is a, is physically able to eat meat. I think that dog is physically able to. I mean, I don't think that dog is physically able to eat vegan food, but I think that dog is physically able to eat meat. She really believed it until Black History Month. Was offered to post this. Very interesting. Yeah, she really did, and it was smart of her to do that. Had she uploaded this like three days ago, we're in March third now, so that would be three days ago. Then, you know, she would get a lot of heat for it. She would. Wants people to respect animals, but can't even respect humans. Exactly. She wants all of us to to, to suffer with her. She what? She, she thinks she has the right ideas, but she doesn't. Don't bend words. Station hold meaning. Proceed to say n word. Yes. She writes the whole n word with the hard R. N i g g e r in a book. And she used that to as an acronym for a beautiful black woman, which is kind of odd and wrong at the same time. Don't you just love how that vegan teacher can simultaneously, simultaneously scare away people who want to be vegan and turn people who were vegan to non-vegan? Yes, because that vegan teacher has a way, has a, such a way with words that could easily hurt people. I saw this shit on TikTok and didn't believe it. She literally just signed her name on paper that says, "Hey, I'm insane. Please ruin my life." Racist. What the fuck? You call the black door and and trying to make light of the word, yet being racist while doing so. Why did you use the black doll to defend the N word with the hard R? All I gotta say this right now is that I know that some people don't like censorship, but in this case, she already took her last straw, and her last straw has been bending for a while, and therefore she deserves to be terminated from the platform. So I hope YouTube terminates. That vegan teacher's YouTube channel because at this point, nobody in the commentary community, especially, should give her any chances. It's time for her to lose her YouTube channel. 